When Teen Wolf the movie debuted on Paramount+, Plus, it was evident that show creator Jeff Davis struggled to strike a balance between the storylines of all the adored characters, because Malia deserved more. Midway in Teen Wolf's run, Malia made her debut and quickly established herself as a key player. Viewers observed her as she adapted to life as a human, because she had been living as a complete coyote for eight years prior to Scott and Stiles' discovery of her. Before she transformed and unintentionally killed her mother and sister, Malia, the daughter of Peter Hale and the Desert Wolf, was adopted and reared as Malia Tate. Malia was an intriguing character with limitless potential. Due to her tragic past and connection to the Hales, the debut of Jeff Davis's new werewolf series Wolfpack coincided with the premiere of Teen Wolf the movie on Paramount+, Plus, ushering in a new era of Teen Wolves. Malia and the rest of Scott's pack should have received more gratifying endings, because the Teen Wolf movie marks the end of an era and is likely to be the final time fans will see them. Malia deserved more than just a minor role. Given her important position in the pack, given her prior difficulties, it is surprising that they hardly ever employed her, or even acknowledged her improvement for a character with such a complex biography. Had the potential to be its most developed character. After years of living as a coyote, Malia had the maturity and emotional range of a nine-year-old. During her time on the show, some development was evident, but Malia, then 30 years old, had so much more potential. In Teen Wolf the movie, Crystal Reed's reappearance as Allison Argent dominated the narrative, making it challenging for Davis to balance the stories of all the other characters. Malia only required an emotional sequence to demonstrate to the audience how far she has come. She felt more like a disabled child who had been manipulated into scenes and used for laughter. Malia wasn't really raised in society. Therefore, it's fine that she doesn't follow traditional rules. Therefore, Malia's lack of filter and her sexual liberation are not a problem. The issue is that she didn't seem to be anything else in the movie. Apart from one episode where she expressed her sadness at witnessing her cousin Eli being stolen by the Oni, she lacked all emotional complexity. Another opportunity lost for Malia was Derek's passing in Teen Wolf the movie. The public doesn't even get to see Malia's response to Derek's passing because he is the closest thing she has to a family. Malia had potential, therefore it was unfortunate that her character felt hollow. Malia was always more sexualized. In her first Teen Wolf scene, she is completely naked, and in one of the first scenes where viewers get to know a little about her, she ends up having sex with Styles. Although, most of the time, these scenes made sense for Malia, because she was very free with her body, and often acted on impulse. The Teen Wolf movie had more swearing and nudity than the MTV show, because of the streaming service's lesser restrictions, and as a result, the opportunity was used through Malia. In her first scene in the movie, she's completely naked and about to have sex with Parrish. The difference between Malia in MTV's Teen Wolf and Malia in Teen Wolf the movie is time. In the show, Davis had time to explore Malia's sexual and emotional side so she had more than just romantic scenes. In the movie, Davis's time was limited, so only keeping her romantic storyline felt cheap. As a result, Malia's movie scenes were limited to her with Parrish, which felt forced, and her awkward reunion with Scott, which offered no answers on what happened to them as a couple. However, Malia wasn't the only underutilized character, because Jackson's Teen Wolf return was also underwhelming. Did Malia really stay in Beacon Hills for 15 years? In episode 11 of Teen Wolf season 6, Malia is eager to visit France, so much so that she was prepared to dismiss the possibility of a new supernatural threat in Beacon Hills, that she ultimately decided to delay her departure in order to stay and assist. Malia most certainly stayed in Beacon Hills with Scott. Assuming the two years of time travel did not end their relationship, Malia probably wouldn't have stayed, given that Scott and the rest of the group left Beacon Hills, after the two eventually broke up. Other than Derek, Eli, and Parrish, there isn't much keeping Malia in Beacon Hills in Teen Wolf.